So, you see, I have, uh, you know, one of my books of essays was dedicated to those who have learned to divorce hope from reason. Mm -hmm. So I don't, uh, I don't think that uh, we should be reasonable, you know, and I don't think that hope does have anything to do with reason, because if it did, we wouldn't have had any revolutions, even the ones that have gone wrong, mm -hmm. you know. I think it would be very, very sad if we just looked around us and then felt hopeless, you know. And I often find that, uh, for example, you know, some years ago I had spent f a few weeks inside the forest with armed guerrillas. And, and you imagine, you know, fighting with their backs against the wall. Even just last week, 37 people were just gunned down. And now it comes out slowly, the story, that it wasn't what the police are saying it was. And it was whatever it is, you know, even if they were armed militants in an ambush and killed, you have to ask why are 17 and 18 year old girls taking to arms, you know? There has to be something very, very wrong, right? But when I spent time there, it certainly wasn't grim. It certainly wasn't uh, hopeless, you know, because people sometimes just don't have a choice, you know, and then they fight. I think the hopelessness comes when we are confused and we don't know what to do, which is, which is absolutely understandable, you know. But 